so this is game one of a best of three. It is the semi-final of Antec Attack number 21, and it is between Baby Knight, who is the blue Protoss player in the top left, and he's playing against TSL's Revival, who is the pink Zerg in the lower right. I am SC2 England, and my lovely co-caster is Puri. Say hey guys. Oh, I beat you there. <laughs> uh, so, sorry, we're getting, we're getting very well tuned into doing this now. Yes. So, um... Well, Baby Knight, we didn't think was going to be coming through because he was playing against Aces Bly. He lost game one, but then Bly just couldn't play anymore because of internet problems. So... And of course, he took a very long time to get the first game going because of that. And it's good, you know, Bly is still a solid player, which is it's disappointing that he was 1 0 up over Baby Knight and then forced to forfeit. So. So, you know, I'm sure he's disappointed by that, definitely. Well, you would because... be if you're playing for ultimately like 175 euros. <laughs> yes. You would be and... a bit disappointed by that. So, um, um, what can we expect from Baby Knight this game, Pew? Alright, so this is quite a, a nice map, in my opinion. Right, it's quite small, which benefits the Protoss in a sense, especially um, as it goes much later game. Uh, but we, we'll see a Fortress expand here. Uh, and that will go into some sort of aggression play. That's like on this map, it, I like to do quite aggression and then take a third because it's very easy to take your third and defend it because you can wall off um, at your natural and then destroy the rocks for the entrance. Um, from the Zig, once again, it's going to be a pool hatch hatch build. And it is, once again, fairly easy for the Zig to defend once he takes the rocks down. But, um, I mean, the big problem is taking those rocks down, Pew. Yes. Because they take so long with Zerglings, so I reckon we'll probably see Revival go for relatively early roaches. Now, um, <laughs> did you know? Um, I told you this earlier, but for anyone just tuning in now, Revival has actually won the Play Em Daily 24 times, which is the most anyone's ever won it. He is the record holder for the most wins of Play Em, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that is very uh, good. So, it's just a random fact in there. And did you know also, okay, Baby Knight, although he was a Dota player, he's not going to switch to Dota 2 when it comes out. He's going to stay with StarCraft, he, he loves it, he's he's focused, and that's why I'm hoping he's going to win this. Definitely, and he is, you know, he's a very good up-and-comer, he just got featured on Team Liquid. So, you know, he's paid his dues and now he's getting the recognition for it. I mean, this is all so standard at the moment. I'm just looking at the play from these people. Um, Baby Knight getting that cannon up. He's got his Nexus on the way. The overall position for Revival, great. Um, Revival That's went for his third before his natural because this probe is delaying it so, so much. But in come the Zerglings. And, and they will get blocked off. What I found really interesting, though, is the cannon positioning from Baby Knight because, of course, the cannon doesn't cover the forge. It covers the back rocks, which is what he's obviously gone for here. But it doesn't cover the forge, which is very strange in my opinion. It is. It's. It could be a small problem. He's also cancelled. Um, oh, yeah, he done that because it's yeah. to stop the zerglings getting into his base. So that's totally fine because the zerg there were only two zerglings, but they might have been able to take out the cannon. And this probe from Baby Knight will get spotted thanks to that zerglin. And it will get taken down as well. So yes, ev <laughs> eventually. <laughs> eventually. Um, especially if it comes anywhere near this queen, but well, there's Zerglings coming, there's queens everywhere, there's not a third queen in production yet, I'd like to see that from Revival. Um, that Getting those early creep spreading queens is something I love, as I'm sure anyone With? who tunes in regularly will know. Third and fourth gas are in production for the Prolos, which is very fast, really. But as we can see here, he has walled off, and he is using that cannon to take up the rocks, which is something that, that I like. Yeah, it's a good choice. I mean, I think it's worthwhile the risk of leaving the forge exposed because, yeah. to be honest, Revival, he's going to be going for that natural third base so, so quickly. He's not going to be able to put any pressure on early, so the risk is worth it. And actually, we've got Baby Knight going for a really popular build at the moment, which is that um, Robo. one gate Robo and we're getting lots of sentries out um, what you see a lot of Koreans do is get a second Robo out and actually get a lot of immortals out really really quickly with sentries and go and attack that third base of revival so it'll be interesting to see where the baby knight goes for that yeah definitely and it is a very potent build um, but there is also an all in off this which is the 
you know, the one game robo into three immortals into seven gates with a war prism, which is very potent as well. And if we look, uh, BB Knight has two probes and this natural gases, so in total he only has ten on gas, as opposed to twelve. Now sentries coming out, plus one now in production, four gates in total. Maybe he wants to do a war prism sentry drop. We will um, wait and see, but at the moment it's the observer getting chrono boosted out, so yep. we'll have to wait and see. The rocks are down though at the back, so. And there is an overload right there to see this come down. The probe is going for the nexus. It looks like, yeah, hides. He hides the probe, but the probe is spotted. And to be honest, with you, I was expecting this. Once you see the sentries there clearing out the overload, you can be pretty certain the nexus is coming down. Yeah. Um, even if you don't see it, you you kind of know. He's seen it though, so he definitely knows. It could be a, a fake, but that's very doubtful. We do have the Roach one down from Revival. Um, just finished. He's got Lair just finishing up as well now. Revival running off of six gases. Well, no, four gases, getting his fifth gas up now, um, as well as the Macro Hatch. So everything is pretty standard there. Yeah. The Macro Hatch is a good choice because Revival can't easily get up his fourth base yet. Um, but he is nearly yes. at 70 drone points, so he's also getting um, Ventricle Sacks. Ooh. So we could that, that is something that can happen. Roach drops can be very potent on this map because obviously you wall off your natural and then you keep all your units at the third and by the time you, they get to say your main, like drops can be very potent. Like your you can have all your overloads uh drop before the units take them out. Um but we also have a hallucination which I like and we have a bunch of upgrades coming down for each player now. Meanwhile, we've got an immortal on its way. We're still just sitting on those four gates with what is four more on the way. So, going to be going up yeah. to eight gates. A lot of sentries out at the moment. Um, so, Definitely. it'll be interesting to see what happens. The roaches are starting to flood, though, and this is the dangerous spot, really, for Baby Knife. Yeah. Especially as the overload drop kicks in, because it looks like he's got a lot of roaches already, and he's just going to drop them in, and. Like. The the Prost doesn't have that many units. Like sentries and immortals are awesome if, like, they come at you. <laughs> like, if they drop on top of your your roach uh, on top of your sentries, like force fields don't really benefit you then. <laughs> if so, they're already there, you can't stop them getting there. Pretty much. Meanwhile, so we've got a hallucinated phoenix coming in here from Baby Knight, so he's going to see exactly what's going on. Sweet. I'm just having a look, we've got overlords placed periodically around. None really joining ready for the drop though. Um, mm. Oh, that's what, we, what I'm for. What we may actually see Revival go for is he'll put pressure on the third with a group of roaches while dropping another group into the main. And okay. trying to. We, we got overlords moving up now on the left hand side. There's only. Oh, actually, there's quite no, a lot of. Oh, all geez. the overlords okay. are going. <laughs> all of the overlords. When just a few isn't enough. Love the fact that he moved out with some roaches first. Yes. That really. Oh, there's all there's a there's ah. a hallucinated phoenix which is gonna spot this. There's so many overlords. It it's so it's obvious so what's obvious. happening. But again, now Baby Knight's got the problem because there's this big Roachling army at the third, and yeah. now a big drop coming into the main. Where do you send your army? He's gonna try and keep the sentries more at the front and maybe move into with the Stalker Immortals into the main. Uh, he does have Blink and more Immortals in production, but this is gonna be. Really, really close. Um, he's yeah. not even moving his army yet, and that is not a good move. Only oh. just now is Baby Knight pulling back, but no, he's stopped again. And wait, here we go. We do have four Immortals in the mix, but this drop is going down, and, well, Baby Knight's choke into his main is working against him, but quite a lot of these units didn't actually drop. No, but he's now finishing them off. This is the only problem is he's taken quite a, lot, a while. He's dropping onto cannons, and, you know, there's Immortal Stalkers now, so... But it's still going to be a, a bit too much, I feel, for Baby Knight. I'm just trying to get any view I can of what's going on, but nope. I think Baby Knight is just going to be overwhelmed by the sheer number of roaches here at the moment. There's also reinforcements streaming in the cyber cores down. That's a big loss, oh, oh. which means no more stalkers. And nope. now those immortals have lings around them. That is not fun times. Blink just finishes, but it's not going to be enough now. Two immortals left, but... Only one immortal. Once that immortal's down, it's all over. Um, the reinforcements can crush Baby and I now alone. His and production isn't. I know, man. This is. He's just about holding this because, of course, the more important thing is that Revival hasn't done any economic damage until just now when the probes come off. Um, that's really important, you see, because, of course, economic wise, they're actually identical. 
I mean, the point is, though, there's just too much yeah, stuff, and without the stalkers, if that cyber core hadn't gone down, it game. may have been close, but without the cybernetics core, it was never going to go Baby Knight's way. So, we're ready for game two now.